everyone. This is Ashley Tucker for My Favorite Things. Today's card is going to be featuring the Thank My Lucky Stars stamp set. When I saw the images in this stamp set, I knew that I really wanted to do a galaxy background. There are several different ways that you can go about making a galaxy background, lots of different mediums that you can use. But for today's card, I wanted to use Distress Oxide inks to make my background. I used a lot of different colors for this, but I did want to keep it in the blue and purple family. So the colors that I used are Tumbled Glass, Salty Ocean, Wilted Violet, Villainous Potion, Chipped Sapphire, and Black Soot. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but a really big thunderstorm just started. So if you hear any rumbling in the background, that's probably what it is. I hope it's not too bad. Anyways, so I have a piece of Canson watercolor paper taped down to a board, and I added all of these colors really randomly all over the place on it. And it honestly, it kind of looks like a mess while you're doing it, and you're always kind of worried that it's not going to turn out. But in the end, it usually turns out really good. Galaxy backgrounds can seem like they're never going to work, and they almost always do. The thing that really is the turning point for the galaxy backgrounds is when you add the black. Now I like to add the black all around the edges and then kind of cover some of the middle with it. Don't be afraid to go over some of those colors because they will kind of peek through that black and you'll still see them. And because this is Distress Oxide ink and it is a little bit more opaque, you can actually bring back some of the color by going over the top of the black and you'll still be able to see that color even though it's on top of black. After I finished adding the color, I grabbed some clean water with a paintbrush and I tapped the paintbrush over the top of the paper so that I could get the water droplets. And then I took a paper towel and I soaked up all that water and that leaves me with this cool cloudy water droplet effect. Next I grabbed another paintbrush and I mixed up some white watercolor and got my paintbrush really saturated with it. And then I tapped it over the top of the paper. I made sure to pick a small paintbrush because the smaller the paintbrush that you use, the smaller the droplets you're going to get. So if you want small droplets like this, you need to make sure to use a smaller paintbrush. All right, so I set that background aside to dry and I'm moving on to my coloring now. I picked out an image from the Thank My Lucky Stars stamp set and I stamped it with a Copic Friendly Black ink using the Misty tool onto some Nina Classic Crest Solar White cardstock. Now, like I said, I'm going to be coloring this with my Copic markers. So I do have the marker caps set off to the side there so that you can see all of the colors that I'm using. I decided to color the cute little bear with these caramely brown colors. I really like the way that this turned out. I think that this image is just really adorable. As for the bear's little bunny friend, I did decide to make a white bunny rabbit, but with anything that I color white, I'm not going to leave it just pure white. I am going to add some shadows. Again, I apologize for the thunder in the background. I realize it's probably coming through a little bit, even with noise cancellation. It is quite loud out there, and I'm kind of scared of thunder, so uh, I, I am trying to get through this without uh, being too scared though. Although I will say that noise cancellation is really good because sometimes I apologize for things on here and I'm sure they're going to be heard because they're so loud and then you can't hear a thing. So it's possible that you won't be able to hear a thing. Anyways, I apologize for all of my ramblings. I think I'm just trying to get through this thunderstorm and I'm a little freaked out, but uh, please bear with me. For the flag on this little raft, I decided to pull the purples from the galaxy background. I tried really hard to match those purples using my Copic markers, and I think that I managed to do that pretty successfully. Once I had all of the coloring done on this, I used the coordinating die to cut it out, and then I cut down my galaxy background to fit an A2 size card, and I adhered it onto a card base using my tape runner. Using a rectangle die, I created this frame because I'm going to be making a shaker card. And then I adhered a piece of acetate to the back of that frame to create my window. 
I doubled up a bunch of pieces of foam tape so that they're twice as thick and I placed them around the edge of my background and I'm filling up the shaker area with a bunch of sequins that are star shaped and regular sequins, lots of different ones that I thought looked really good with that background. I then removed the backing paper from the foam tape and I closed up the shaker with the frame. I picked out one of the sentiments from the stamp set and I'm stamping it with Bursamark ink onto some black cardstock, which I did prep with a powder bag before stamping so that I don't have any issues with embossing powder sticking to things that I don't want it to. And then I embossed it with a white embossing powder. Using foam tape, I adhered the image with the bear and the rabbit onto the bottom edge of the shaker window. Off camera, I did cut down my sentiment into a strip and I popped that up onto the card. And I also found a few enamel star stickers and I placed those right on top of the shaker window. After adding a couple of highlights with a white gel pen, this card is all done. And here you can see what it looks like when all of those shaker bits are moving around. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this card design and that it gave you some inspiration for your own cards. I hope you have a wonderful day today and I'll see you next time.